Australian person from America. And you are going to be doing activity number two with me. My name is Natasha Coonrod, and I'm a Girl Experience Facilitator for Girl Scouts of Central California South. So, welcome. Who's excited about cookies? I am. I love Girl Scout cookies. I love it, I love it, I love it. And to, for Cookie University this year, girls are going to be earning their cookie pin. So, the activity you guys are going to be covering tonight, or today, whenever you're accessing this video, is decision making so as girl scouts you guys you girls get to decide on a lot of things your whole program my whole girl scouts is based off of making decisions so it's girl led you guys get to decide what badges you want to cover what pedals you want to cover what do you want to do on your trips where do you want to go? What do you want to even have for snack? It's all decision making. It's part of what the goal, um, the activity is tonight. So success has many parts to it. Not many people can succeed if they don't believe they can do it. Using your piece of paper. So I have my piece of paper and my pencil write down a positive word that makes you feel good so if you don't know how to spell it that's okay try your best at spelling it and if you're there with your mom or your dad or older sibling go ahead and ask them to how do you how to spell it so I'm gonna grab my piece of paper and I'm gonna write my word. And let's see. Oh, you can't read it. It's kind of hard to see, but so I wrote kind. That's my word. That's the word that makes me feel really good. Um, makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. So my word is kind. Okay, so now close your eyes and think of how that word makes you feel. So remember, I chose kind, so you girls pick another word. Once you have the word, close your eyes real tight and think of that word. Put it up in the front of your brain. What does it make you feel? How does it make you feel? Do you get warm and fuzzy? When you think of the word, do you think about somebody or something? So when I think of the word kind, I think of Girl Scouts. I think of you guys, I think of you girls. Kind is something that we teach and that we want everybody to do. We want everybody to be kind, right? We want everybody to be understanding. We want everybody to be nice. You know, we want everybody to share. So kind, okay? When I also think about kind, I think about a person. And the person that I think about is I think about my mom. My mom is very kind. She does a lot of things for not only me, but she does a lot of things for her grandkids, for her older kids, for her neighbors. Um, she was a big helper. She's very, very, very kind. So that's who I think about. Who do you girls think about when you have that word in your mind? All right, so you got your word and you have your person, yeah? So let's, let's, let me go through it again, so. Close your eyes, think about the word. Okay, the word you got. All right, you have it. And now we're gonna move on. Who is the customer that you want to sell cookies to? And the easy way to think about this is who would be the first person you'd wanna ask? And remember, 
I said my word was kind and I thought about my mom, so I'd want to ask my mom first. For you girls, it might be your teacher, it might be your neighbor, it might be a family friend, an aunt, an uncle, whoever you think of, your next part to do is to draw them on a piece of paper, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and, if you, I'm gonna go ahead and draw my mom on my piece of paper. So, I'm gonna draw a head, I'm gonna draw a neck, and a shirt that she's wearing, and and my mom usually wears shorts even during the winter time because <laughs> she doesn't get that uh, that cold easily well she used to i don't know about now now she might and so we're gonna draw some legs and my mom wears tennis shoes a lot so we'll do tennis shoes and then we'll draw And if you messed up, that's okay. Just erase. That's why we got a pencil. Draw some shoes. And my mom has kind of short hair that goes about to her shoulder. And then my mom has nice big eyes. Nose. And she smiles a lot. Okay, so I'm going to show you. So, I drew my mom. That's what she looks like. It doesn't look exactly like her, and if it doesn't, that's okay. But um, you can always take color pencils, or markers, or crayons, or whatever you want. Or you don't even have to color if you don't want to. It's totally up to you. So, but I want to add some color. I like coloring mine. So my mom's got blue eyes. And my mom has blonde hair. So I'm going to use some yellow. And my mom usually likes to wear a lot of blue clothing. Because blue is her favorite color. So I'm going to color her shirt. Blue. I'm gonna color her shorts. I'm just gonna color her shorts purple. Okay. All right. So now I added some color. So, yep. There you can see that's my mom. Her yellow hair or her blonde hair her blue eyes, blue shirt, and some purple shorts. Okay. So your job is when you're getting ready to do, when you're getting ready to go into cookie season is to keep this picture, the picture of the word that you thought about and then the people that you thought about. This, your job is to keep this picture somewhere near you so that way when it, um, when you start selling cookies, you can look at this and you can think about who are my customers and be like, oh, that's right. I drew them before. So who did you ask your mom? Did you ask your dad? Did you ask your grandma and grandpa? What about your neighbors? So the, this is what you're going to decide. So making the decisions on who your customers are going to be and who you're going to ask. So this is a tool that business leaders, authors, and athletes use to envision their success. So it's called like a vision board. And a lot of people will do it. A lot of people will, they'll draw it. A lot of people will take and cut up magazines and put their pictures on a board or something. So that's what it is, okay? That's what you can do to succeed and be successful in this cookie season. So that's step two, you're almost done. 
you are going to continue to check off or check off Kyoki Entrepreneur Family Pin Step 2, number 2, and follow along with our YouTube videos to complete either three. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. Complete the other three steps for your pin. So you have three steps, daisies, that you need to complete. Three. So you completed the second one with me. So that means you have two more to go. <gasps> All right. We got two more and you get it. So good luck and have fun this cookie season. Bye, girls.